You was it right for Congress to intervene in this case? Our next two guests have very different opinions. House Majority Whip Roy Blunt, a Republican, voted for the legislation, and Democrat Debbie Wasserman Schultz voted against it. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. First, we just heard Michael Schiavo said he is outraged that this is a sad day for America. The government is going to trample over personal rights. Representative Blunt, has Congress trampled over personal rights in this case? Well, what Congress has done is allow the family, if there's a dispute in the family, to have one other level of appeal. I mean, uh, Scott uh, Peterson's uh, decision by state courts uh, will certainly be appealed to the federal courts. This just simply allows families to move in if there's a, if there's a difference. Uh, you know, what I just heard was that uh, there was a, that this was Terry's, uh, Terry's view of what should happen, but her, her mother, her dad, her brother, her sister absolutely don't agree with that, and in that circumstance, we think there should be one last appeal before uh, this is finally uh, determined. But this is a case that has been reviewed by, what, 19 judges in six courts over the past 15 years. The U.S. Supreme Court has refused to take it up, and also the federal court will actually be deciding, uh, the question will be deciding is whether Terry Schiavo has received due process. So are you, are, is the Congress, is the President basically politicizing this issue? Representative well, Blunt. Well, I, I don't think, Ann, that you're, in, you're, you're involving yourself in uh, family matters when all you're doing is saying to the family that you have one, one final opportunity uh, to appeal the decision you don't agree with but it, where your daughter or your but sister wasn't there would be a memo, killed. I'm sorry for interrupting, but wasn't there a memo circulating on Capitol Hill calling this, quote, a great political issue, this is a tough issue for Democrats, and that the question, which raises the question, are Republicans looking to gain for this? I don't know that there was a memo circulating. I heard that there was, but no, no senator or no House member that I know of has seen that memo. May have been done by a Republican staffer. If it was, that person uh, should be penalized in a severe way, probably losing their job. May have been done by somebody else that just circulated that memo. No member seen that memo, and this is not a political issue. This is an issue about this girl's life and a, a, a significant dispute between those people who should care about her, her husband, her mother, her father, her brother, her sister have a dramatically different view of this. She's not on some extraordinary life support. She's not on a breathing machine. She's on a feeding tube that just simply gives her uh, food and water. On that point, Representative Washerman Schultz, all over the weekend, according to the attorney for the parents of Terry Schiavo, when they asked Terry to say, I want to live, her eyes popped open, she made loud noises and then wept. How certain are you that Congress should not have intervened in this case? Uh, I'm, I'm very certain. I, I've been involved in this case and since October of 2003 as a member of the Florida Senate when the legislature inserted itself into this deeply private family matter and now we've done it again. It literally rips the hinges off the door of every family home in America and allows Congress to insert ourselves into any, any family dispute that we don't agree with. It's just absolutely unconscionable and the point is is that I don't know, Terry. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a bioethicist. I don't have any medical expertise, and neither, neither does Congressman Blount or any of the 432 other, 43 other of, of our colleagues. This is not an appropriate place for a family dispute, certainly not a, a place for us to decide whether she had these wishes or not had these wishes, whether her cerebral cortex is or is not liquefied. Rep the courts reviewed that. Doctors reviewed that who examined her and determined that she is in a persistent vegetative state and that she wished to never be in one. Representative Washerman Schultz, you also had a personal experience yourself uh, that was very similar to this in which I believe it was your hus husband's aunt who had to have a feeding tube removed. You were quoted as saying that no one felt it essential that I file legislation to stop this. How is that personal experience coloring your view of this particular case? It, it, it really makes it deeply personal for me because about five weeks ago, you're right, my family had to go through this exact same decision and they would have found it incredibly offensive for Congress or anyone in a legislative body to insert themselves into our family business. If it could happen in Terry Schiavo's family, it could happen to any of us, and that is the last place that I think Americans want Congress to, to act. I wasn't elected to Congress to make these kinds of decisions. I was elected to uphold the Constitution. So was Congressman Blount and all the rest of my colleagues, and we thumbed our nose at the Constitution last night, and we jammed ourselves in every potentially every family health care dispute in America, and it's just wrong. Representatives Roy Blount and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, thank you both this morning for your opinions. Obviously, not the last we'll hear of this.